Now we're going to uh, pack the streamer. Um, at this point, normally you would already have your motor mounted, uh, but to help emphasize uh, something important, I'm just going to insert my motor without gluing it in. Um, what it is, is when we pack in the recovery wadding, we don't want to pack it too tightly. If we pack it too tightly, we'll get a burn on the side of the body tube, and it'll basically ruin the body tube. Uh, for what we're doing, we're going to need the pen, ballpoint pen with cap, and one sheet of the recovery wadding. Now we're going to take the recovery wadding and we're going to tear it into a bunch of small pieces. Um, <clears throat> we're doing this so it makes it a bit easier for us to pack it down in here. So that should be su sufficient. And now we're just going to take each piece and kind of wad it up a little bit and put it in the top of the rocket and then use our pen to tuck it down in. Now you'll note the string kind of goes down in it so I'm going to pull up on the string pull the string off to the side and just gently tap it down in there. Now it's not like a black powder rifle or something like that. We're not cramming it in, we're just kind of gently tapping it in. If you're having to use a lot of force, you're probably doing it wrong. So I'm just taking each of the pieces of wadding that I've shredded and just kind of lightly sliding it down in. Not really applying much more force than the weight of the pin, really. If I put the weight of the pin, it doesn't, but just kind of tapping. Not really much uh, force going on there. And then go ahead and get that all gently tapped down in there. You can look down in and see how far down it goes. If it's packed so it looks like it's really close to the motor, you probably have done it too tightly. Um, if it's probably somewhere about to here, uh, that's a good range for it to be. If it's up here, you actually kind of need to pack it down some more. One of the advantages of the Five. <coughs> what? Did, although this is a three by five note card, one of the advantages at this point with the four by six note cards is they have an extra inch of space, meaning that it's easier for them to avoid overpacking it. Now that we've got the wadding packed down and in, we need to go ahead and take care of our streamer. For this, we need our ballpoint pen with the cap on. The cap is important because what we're going to do is take the pen, take the plastic, and snag the plastic underneath the cap of the pen, fold the plastic around, and then roll it towards the direction of the shorter piece of plastic so that the shorter piece of plastic basically gets rolled into it. And then I'm going to just kind of tightly roll it, keeping it straight so it doesn't go like way up or way down on your pen. And go ahead and get this rolled up, trying not to fold the streamer in the process. Once we hit the base of the streamer, um, I kind of got a little bit of a knot going here, let me undo that real quick. Once we hit the base of the streamer, I'm going to pull the pin cap off, then slide the pin out to the bottom. This gives us a really nicely tight and compact streamer. I'm going to just take the little piece that's left, wrap it around take some of the string, wrap it around, and then the other parts of the string, we're just going to slowly wrap that around so it keeps the streamer nice and tight. You don't need to do too much. Now we're going to just tuck it both into the cap and into the hole, and trying to keep the streamer compressed the whole time, we're just going to slide it down and in. And whenever you go to push down your cap, it should slide down easily. If you're pushing down the cap and it feels like you're hitting something and it springs back to something like that, uh, it means you're hitting your recovery wadding and you need to repack the recovery wadding. But now your rocket uh, is ready to launch. As a side note, be sure that when you store your rocket, you leave your streamer unrolled. You want to roll it up the day of the launch. If you leave it rolled up for long periods of time, your plastic will actually get creased and it won't want to unroll mid-air when the ejection charge goes off. And that'll basically mean your rocket will fall even faster to the ground which will cause damage to your rocket.